Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce myself. I am James Oglethorpe. Let me take you on a journey through the development of the southern colonies with a particular focus on Georgia, the colony I founded. In the early 17th century, the southern colonies, including Virginia, Maryland, Carolina, and Georgia, were established for various reasons. One primary motive was economic opportunity, driven by England's desire to extract resources from North America to compete with their European rivals under the concept of mercantilism. The southern colonies, with their fertile soil and long growing season, became crucial for agricultural production and exporting valuable cash crops such as tobacco, rice and indigo to England. Georgia, the youngest of the southern colonies, was founded in 1732 with two noble purposes. Firstly, it served as a buffer between the valuable South Carolina plantations and the Spanish threat in Florida, safeguarding the interests of the prosperous colonies. Secondly, Georgia provided a fresh start for those trapped in London's debtors' prisons, offering them freedom and the opportunity to contribute to society while defending the interests of South Carolina. The impact of location and place played a significant role in the southern colony's development. The rich soil and favorable climate allowed for large commercial plantations in South Carolina, specializing in rice and indigo production. In contrast, Virginia and North Carolina developed smaller tobacco farms, and the New England colonies focused on shipping, trade, and manufacturing due to their proximity to the Atlantic Ocean. Relations with the American Indians were complex and varied across the southern colonies. Initially, interactions with natives were peaceful and based on trade and diplomacy. However, as the English population increased, conflicts arose over land and resources, leading to tragic events like King Philip's War in New England and conflicts with tribes like the Cherokee in Georgia. Economically, the southern colonies flourished with their cash crop economies, contributing greatly to England's wealth and power under the mercantilist system. The growth of plantations in South Carolina and Georgia relied heavily on enslaved labor from Africa, which further solidified the region's economic success. In conclusion, the southern colonies, including Georgia, were established for economic, political, and strategic reasons. The impact of location and place influenced their development and relations with American Indians varied, sometimes leading to conflicts. The southern colonies became essential contributors to England's mercantilist system and played a crucial role in shaping the early history of the United States.